Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, cut the tape. And that's gonna be the intro to the show, okay? So one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Cut the Tape. I'm your host, Rick Alvarez, and I have some brown boxes here. What's in the boxes? Let's find out together. Let's see, where is Cuddy? Ah, oh, Cuddy McKnifeface. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is Nacelle. Now, I w sometimes let pre-orders slip, and this was one of them. Noticing people getting Nacelle. And then I noticed that people are complaining that there's mold, spores, fungi, which is a whole different section of the animal of the kingdom of life than, than this. And I thought, ah, if this is an issue, they're gonna be pulled. So I went ahead and bought a few of them because chances are, if they're pulled, they're not gonna be remade. Now, what causes the mold? Could be the conditions at the factory, could be conditions at the warehouse. Any number of things. Could be the uh, type of plastic that was used. But here's Nacelle. All right. We're going to open him and see what we see. Interesting little detail right there on the cell. There's no funk to it. I'd like to give a shout out to Randy who wrote the very first text back for Nacelle as a uh, official Transformers Collectors Club figure. All right, let's get some. Some pliers. He's taped down. So remember, I get two of each, one to open, one to keep sealed. And typically I would, if this was a carded figure or a regular retail release, I would just rip this open. But this is a more premium box. So I'll hang on to this one. No signs so far of spores. Seems to be prevalent on the wings. We're good, we're good. Very happy to report that my nacelle is okay. Now, what we'll do is, we're gonna leave them out of a display case. For, uh, for a couple of days and see what happens that. Let's take a look at his gear. I gotta admit, I'm a little surprised that this mold is coming out again. But, I'm happy to have a character. Happy to have a mold in these colors. Here's Nacelle, beautiful, wonderful. And Randy is a customer of mine here at the Frame and Picture Shop. I'll have him autographed 
the box for me. Nacelle. Nacelle. All right, moving on. We're gonna save this box, the little box for last. We're gonna move on to this bigger box. Now this is something that didn't elude me, but I didn't, I didn't know about. It just kind of came out of nowhere. And I saw it and it was on clearance already. And I'm like, how did I miss this? It's a Megatron bust. I mean, this is just the epitome of pop culture. Mighty Jax. This is from 2021. How did I not, how did I not know about this? Paperwork. Ooh, I do appreciate good paper stock. Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies that this figure identified herein is an original and authentic product of Mighty Jacks International. The figure has been inspected and approved by our team of experts. Included is a Mighty Jack care card, as well as some advertisement. But it doesn't tell me anything about the figure. This could just be generic. I was hoping for something a little more specific that I could display alongside, but this is nice. This is a nice touch. Overall, it's a nice touch. Yeah, it's generic, but it's a nice touch. Well done. On the inside of the box, Megatron rules. I have no idea how this, I don't remember any announcements about this. This just appeared. This just came out of nowhere. And here's, here's the kicker. comes with spray cans. I mean, if Banksy were to do a Megatron, I feel like it would be something similar to this. It's in a little, another sticker of certification. Not numbered, but nice. Some thought went into this. I appreciate that. Some thought went into this. Very well done, Mighty Jax. Very well done. It's different. It's not for everyone. But it is for me. And it's only fuel for my hunger. So, there's that. On to the very, very special box. Something, again, completely eluded me. Found it in the most unusual place. The topic of hot, hot topic. It's a lot smaller than I expected, especially for the price that I paid. But, <laughs> even smaller than I expected. It's the official Transformers waffle maker yes i am the proud owner of the official transformers waffle maker
There it is. In all its beauty. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. This is a new item. It's got a copyright of this year on it, 2023. And that's it. That's it. It's a short episode. It's a really short, short show today. I got things I got to do. Places I don't need to be. Thank you. Wash your hands. Remember to vote. And always find some time to cut the tape.